Let's wrap the rock cycle. Woo! Let's go. Okay, rocks change. Don't be surprised. They're kind of like caterpillars that become butterflies. Though it's difficult to see because rocks change over long periods of time. All have different designs. I know rocks seem permanent, but each rock used to be different. When you hold a rock, you hold ancient history. Each rock is on a million year journey. Let's start this trip under our feet in the middle of the earth where there's plenty of heat. Earth's insides are hot. More than 10 pizza ovens like uh -huh. it or not these ovens melt rock like Velveeta cheese underground liquid rock is called magma which squeezes and bubbles out the ground and thrown from volcanoes as the lava we know serious when they cool down then the rocks cog igneous the story of stone doesn't end here let me make it clear water and wind are jackhammers that chip away at rocks make them shatter into bits which we call sediments water and wind are dump trucks too that carry moving dump rock bits into layers upon layers over thousands of years which might sound like insanity but gravity pulls down on the higher layers that applies pressure and water sprinkles in some minerals that act like cement in this layer cake rock recipe we call sedimentary you might already know the rock party keeps its flow this time round the heat underground doesn't melt rock just warms it up softens it like butter then pressure gives a twist and a stretch like gooey elastic this new rock type is called metamorphic igneous then sedimentary then metamorphic this is just one path of change in a rock cycle but a rock doesn't care what path we like a rock can change into any other rock type squid out